All right, we're doing another one of these discussion videos, and the last one concluded uh, kind of well compared to the other videos. So this one's about a player that we have been desperately needing for as long as I can remember, since bloody Matic left, a defense midfielder. I love Jorginho, I love Kante, but they're not that sixth role. You kind of they're not your Rodri's, they're not your Fabinho's, they're not your, even my United with Casemiro now. You know, they're not that a defense midfielder. And the one that springs to mind so often with Chelsea fans is Declan Rice. So now similar to the Nkunku video, I'm going to talk about how he fits in, how he improves us, what we you know what we can do after we sign him, any other options maybe. I didn't do that with Nkunku, but I think it'd be good to explore other options and how we can tackle this transfer. So first of all, how he fits in, quite simple. I think he can be the lone DM role or he plays a double six. We've seen him at West Ham where he's not just someone who's going to sit back and protect a back four or a back three or whatever. He can progress forward, his passing is very good, his ball carrying is very good, he is a modern day defence midfielder, so there's no notation that he just sits and he's you know, not a, a big club player, it's, quite, it's a very false narrative created by a certain group of Chelsea fans, but you know, the same Chelsea fans that would say Mason Mount is one of our worst players, which is just, you know, it's blasphemous. I think he improves us because we can see us in transition, we struggle and we have to defend in transitions, no matter who's playing, you know, I think only when Kante plays that we look a bit more confident because of his style but again he's not gonna he can't do a sitting role which we do want him to do on occasion but he isn't that type of player and he's rarely ever fit I think when Jorginho and Kante are paired together it's perfect I think that together creates quite a good defensive midfielder both are contracts which were in the summer Kante is never fit Jorginho's he is not inconsistent but he's very not on his day either he's he's good but you get that, you get that Jorginho, that that Euros, that Champions League Jorginho, or you get that West Brom Jorginho, where it's sort of like, oh god, he's giving the ball away, oh he's a bit slow on the ball. But then other times, like my god, this guy is absolutely world class. I think he is very underrated. But it's time we moved on, we switched up our midfield a bit, and also signing a defensive midfielder will allow us to play a back four more often. And I think our attackers suit a back four. For example, someone that makes him out would rather play in midfield in a back four. Someone like Pulisic or when Hudson Joy comes back, they'll prefer to play out wide in a back four system. And obviously Potter likes the transitional football, likes the hybrid system, so you need to be comfortable in both formations. So I think that's why the sign is also important. Now the main issue with this transfer is the supposed price tag. There's a lot of talks going over 100 mil for Declan Rice, and it has been for quite a while now. Every season the price seems to just go up and up. Now, he is constantly refusing contract extensions, so that should work in our favour. But I think we need him this summer. I believe he'll have two years left this summer. I think we could, by the law of football, we should be able to get him for less than 100 mil. But West Ham could be difficult with it. And they have warned Chelsea not to go for him as if like they can do that. He clearly wants the move. He clearly is up for it. We clearly want the move. Every manager we've had wants Declan Rice. So I think it's quite clear he is going to be our main target in midfield for that defensive midfield role. But that box-to-box -box role, I'm not 100% sure as of yet, but we'll see. Could be Jude Bellingham, you know, that would be cool. That will definitely be cool. But yeah, I think the priority should be a defensive midfielder. It's been a position we've been needing for at least two years. That's been like, oh god, we need it. We've needed it since Matic left, realistically. But yeah, I think Declan Rice just makes us a better team. He can play in that double six, he can play as a lone DM. He can even play that box-to-box -box role, like... He can do it all in midfield besides like as ten. Like he'll he'll do more than what Chelsea fans are expecting. He's good on the ball, he's good at passing. I get the idea of when you look at it on paper, you know what Declan Rice used to be, he used to be a centre back who played in midfield, you think that doesn't suit Chelsea. We need we try and play progressive football, control the game. But that's just he's improved his game so much over the years that it's he's a whole new player. He is a is a perfect midfielder for us. And I think it just has to happen. And he's, you know, obviously the storyline, Mason Mount's best mate, coming from Cobham. It's quite, you know, it's quite written in the stars that it's just going to happen. It's just a matter of when. I thought it would have happened already. I thought it would have happened uh, this recent summer at the latest. I thought, okay, this is finally going to happen. And it still hasn't happened. <laughs> I figured if we sold Jorginho and Kante, combined their values, because they both had 12 months left, I think we could have made, I don't know, 60 combined with them because they are quite highly rated amongst Europe. So then that's 60 mil, even if Rice is going to cost 100, he's still got 60 mil out of Jorginho and Kante, so it's not 
a bad deal if he was like, oh, fine, we'll just suck it up. And I re- reckon we could get him for 80, 90, I feel like 100 mil because they're just going to warn off anyone that's going to pay that price. And I think 80 mil for a DM is quite, I think that's quite standard. In English DM in the Premier League, there is the English tax. You do have to realise that. And it just has to be that way. Obviously, there's other options. There's Edson Alvarez from Ajax. I'm not I'm not entirely sold on him because I think he is what Chelsea fans think Declan Rice is. He's sort of like, he is good on the ball, but he's not as progressive. There's obviously links with Jude Bellingham, but I don't see him doing that sitting role. I think we need someone who can sit and someone who can do the box-box work when Kovacic is out injured because that's quite often he needs the rest. And obviously, I like Loftus Street quite a lot. But I'm not sure about him in the pivot, and I'm not quite sure about him at right wing back in part of the system because it worked under Tuchel when you have Reese James at right centre back, but you can't do it if Reese James is injured. So a super right wing back is also to come in this summer, as well as a goal scorer, as well as a creator. So, but yeah, I think Declan Rice would be the perfect fit. If you disagree or agree, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you later.